Hmm. Gemini sector in the Troy system, eh? Turn on my volume a little bit here. The Terran frontier. Ah. Kilrathi Empire. Wait a minute. That could only mean one thing. You know there's another type of game coming, BCS Universe. You know it's coming. Whoa! The heck kind of a ship is this? Whoa! What is it, huh? Is it a smuggler far off the normal space lane? Maybe a bad smuggler with some nice contraband. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I'm just a tourist with a frag nav console. Could you tell me where I am? Deep in trouble, little tourist. Prepare to be boarded. Not a chance, pal. Prepare to go to hell. Whoa. Is he getting attacked by, like, pirates or something? Whoa. This fighter's kicking some ass. Uh oh. He's heading for an asteroid belt. Missiles away! Whoa! Man, this act is pretty intense pretty early on. You know, for 8 bits, that is. Boom! Man, get out of there. Get away, get away! Got a load of cargo in the hold and a load of bills to pay at home. And I the same. You shouldn't kill me just for attacking you. I don't mind that you tried to kill me, but protecting myself against your type gets expensive, and I'm on a budget. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's a good one liner right there. I like that. So man, not only, this guy, not only is this guy a good pilot, he's got some attitude as well. And that brings us to my next Let's Play series. Welcome to Let's Play Wing Commander Privateer. This is BCS Buster here, and a lot of you guys have been asking for this game, so I've decided to bring it to you as only BCS Buster can. Um, so as you can see, where you've got a control of a hotshot pilot, and uh, he's had to land somewhere. So uh, you know, after being chased by pirates and dropping off some cargo. So uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now this game is very, very different from all the other Wing Commander games um, that you've seen up to this point. A lot of ways to play the game. Um, basically, you'll get to configure your ship, and I'll go over all that as we go along. But for right now, let's go ahead and get started. And um, yeah, we uh, you, you'll see. This is quite, quite different. But anyways, okay, we're going to go with the name BCS. Well, can I use space bars? Yeah, so, eh, BCS Buster, that's good enough. And the call sign will be Maverick, just like, oops, you know what, hang on just a minute, let me go back here. Uh, so as my U is capitalized, yeah, there we go, BCS Buster, there we go, and Maverick. Okay, and now we're on our ship, so let's uh, go over the different areas here. You can launch right away. Uh, now, basically, in this game, you can launch at any time that you want, uh, and, and, um, you know, basically, you can go and uh, just go do a little, uh, you know, take a little joy ride and then come back. There's no, um, you're never going to meet the captain or anything like that. You basically design your own path. Um, but that, that takes you back to the hangar. We're going to go to the main concourse for now. Uh, ship dealer. We'll go to that in just a little bit. For now, let's go to the bar, see what's going on here. Like, all we can do is talk to the bartender. So let's say, what up, barkeep? Just flew in, did you? Let me ask you a question. Did you notice the increased militia and confed patrols on your approach? The confed is losing hundreds of ships a day to the war. That means they need more metal for replacement ships. And they're stepping up protection of mining bases to keep raw material out of Kilrathi hands. I don't know about you, but I feel a lot safer because of it. Yeah, me too there, buddy. Uh, let's see, anything else we can do? Yeah, that's it. Does the bartender say the same thing? You catch the net cast last night? Remember the guy that got that huge Rondell grant? You know, the archaeologist that did those Mars digs, uh, Monkey Howard, something like that. 
He was gigging on Palin when the blockade went up. Hasn't been heard from since. If you ask me, he's a goner. Archaeologists like him, they always have some valuable knickknack or other. Makes them a target. Count yourself lucky you're not in the relic business, pal. That's one rough trade. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, and he says other things like that. But as you can see, another uh, uh, detail about this game is that it's um, you know it's got it's all voice animated. It's all voice uh, voiceovers. You know, and for this game, I think it came out back like in the early '90s. So that's pretty advanced. So there's no subtitles. So you're really gonna have to pay attention to what's going on um, as we go. But yeah. Uh, as you can see, there's no captain on the ship. Mission computer. We're actually not going to worry about that. Commodity exchange. That's where you can exchange. Uh, you can sell and buy goods and cargo and stuff like that. Because there's actually delivery missions. This is actually kind of like New Horizons in a way, where you can undergo missions and um, and um, let's see, where you can undergo mi the missions that you want. And there's different kinds of missions, and you can basically go to the guild and stuff like that. But uh, and then eventually the plot can advance. So, for me and I, what we want to, in the meantime, what we want to do is go to a ship dealer right here. We need to upgrade our ship just a little bit here. And you can actually buy new ships here. We can own a total of four ships. We're currently in the ship called a, I believe it's a Tar Taurus, I believe is the name of our ship that we're in right now. But you can buy a Centurion and Orion and Galaxy. I don't know how much they cost just yet, but I'll look up that information. And um, I'll let you know, our ship's called a Tarsus, by the way. But if you try to purchase one, I hate to break it to you, but we've checked your account. And you don't have enough credits to buy this ship. She sure is a fine ship, though, isn't she? Listen, I want to make a sale. You want to make a purchase. Let's look at the facts. You know the retail of this ship. I can use your ship for trade-in, plus your extras. Including your cash on hand, that still leaves you short. Go get some more cash and come back when you're ready to deal, okay? And don't feel embarrassed. These things happen. Oh, man. I can't buy a new ship yet. Dang it. Uh, okay. That's fine. No problems for right now. Okay. So now we are here in the... Uh, actually, I want to go out here for just a minute because I want to make sure I get this right here. Okay. So we're out here in the area. And let me just take a second here and I'll be right back. And then we will go and purchase some things. Okay, we're ready to go. By the way, if you ever want to save your game, just hit uh, Command C or yeah, Command C, and it brings up the save menu here, and you can tell we're in the Achilles mining base. We're in the Troy system of the Humboldt quadrant. Cool. And you can save your game. You can see I've already saved a game named BCS. And we've uh, missions here, but we've accepted no missions yet, and that kind of shows you how everything is going here. Um, how many enemies you've killed, um, and obviously we would like to kill. The Kilrathi, the pirates, and the retros, because, and uh, yeah, and you can load some cargo as well, because well, that's just what you should do. So, and push escape to get out of there. So, okay, let's go over here, and we want to upgrade our ship just a little bit here. Now, you, we have two different menus here. If you need to repair some things, uh, you can click on the repair, and you can see we have two thousand credits, and we need to upgrade our ship. So, first thing we want to do is we want to go to sell mode because we want to sell for some things. We actually want to get rid of this laser because this laser is a piece of crap. Now, we don't want that. And believe it or not, we're actually going to sell our missile missile launcher as well because we can't really use that yet. Okay, now, shield generator we want to keep, armor we want to keep. Okay, good. Now, we want to go to buy mode. Now, obviously, we don't want to buy a laser. Uh, let's see. We want to get... Let me see. Oh, all these cannons would be really good, but we can't afford them yet. Okay, now, we want to get a torpedo launcher. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. And you can notice you can put it on either your port side or your star or uh, your starboard side. For this one, it doesn't really matter. So let's just put it on the port side for now. No problems there. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go back and we want to purchase a Mason blaster. So let's get one of those. And let's put that on. I, I like it on my starboard side just because I feel like I shoot better from the right side. So, okay, good. Now we only want one of those for now. We want to be left with 5,000 credits at the end. We also want to go and we want to buy some torpedoes. Basically, their torpedoes are dumb fire missiles, but for right now, they're the only types of torpedoes we can buy. But um, uh, it's cheap and we need the money. Uh, we need the money from the missile launcher. We'll buy a missile launcher later. So let's go ahead and get, you can get 10 torpedoes. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get it. Yeah, get 10 there. Okay, good. Very good. And there we go. And that's basically what we want. We want that's what we want for our first ship. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to go to the where is it? Ah, the Merchants Guild. Wait, Mercenaries Guild or Merchants Guild? Uh, let's see. We want to just a second here. Let me make sure I get this right. Okay. Yeah, we want to go up to the there's two types of guilds here. We've got the Merchants Guild and the, the Mercenaries Guild and the Merchants Guild. We are not able to go to the Mercenaries Guild yet because we don't have enough um, we don't have the um, enough good stuff on our ship to be taking out people yet. So we want to go to the Merchants Guild for now. Yeah, we want to talk to the Guildmaster. Hi, how are you? I'd like to invite you to join our guild. We broker for the most reputable clients. That means we guarantee your work and your compensation. The Merchant's Guild primarily schedules cargo runs, but we also place big bounties on pilots that attack our own members. It will only cost you 1,000 credits to join our ranks. How about it? Yeah, I definitely like that offer. We're going to shake that guy's hand. Great! We will automatically debit the service fee from your current banking system. The Merchants Guild appreciates your business. Thanks for joining. You'll be glad you did. All right, and now we're a member of the Merchants Guild. Yay! So now what we can do is, let's see. Yeah, we can talk to the Guildmaster again, see what he has to say. If you're ready for a cargo run, feel free to make use of the mission screen. Remember, we pay premium bounties on ships that harass Merchant Guild members. We take care of our own. All right, sounds good. So let's go ahead and do that for sure. So let's see, we want to get our first mission. Now, I know this is going to seem kind of boring, BCS Universe, but we need to get some money because we need to upgrade our ship. Then we can go thinking about, you know, starting taking people out. But for right now, let's go here. And if you see here, we've got, uh, we want to activate the computer, sorry. And if you go here... Yeah, we can scan for available missions, and we should, okay, yeah, and you can select four different mission disks. Now, let's go check this out and see what we got here. Okay, now, we don't want to go to the new Detroit system yet, because you have to jump there. So, we definitely want to do that. We need missions in the Troy system. Uh, nope, nothing there. Help keep vital shipping lanes. Nope, maybe this will be one. Okay, let's see. Stereo pirate ship somewhere. Da, 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 da. Pinder star pirate systems. Uh, see, it's one of three systems, though. We can't uh, we can't go there yet. So we don't have any of the missions that I want right now. So we're gonna go ahead and exit. And basically, what we want to do is I want to launch my ship and then come back here until I get a mission that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Let's go ahead and hang, and then we'll launch, and then we'll get the mission that I I'll show you the launch sequence. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and launch right now. And hopefully we'll get out here into the real world. Ah, there we go. Now we want to go ahead and land real quick. So let's just go ahead and pull up our nav map. And the Achilles base, that's our main base. And you can see we can go to some of the different areas here, just like that. We want to start near the Achilles base for now. So let's go ahead and go there. So yeah, we just click that. And let's see if we can land here. Uh-oh. I'm not looking for any trouble. All right, good. Yeah, me neither. So, yeah, so that's just a merchant right now. So we just want to go ahead and land. Uh, let's see if I can do this here. I want to see if I can land. I may have to go to another zone and then come back to land. Okay, so let's see if we can get this right here. Come uh, on, please let me land. Now entering an automatic landing zone. Yep, perfect. That's exactly what I want to do. Let's go ahead and land. Come on. And we just land safely. Thank you. Okay. Let's go up to the get a merchant skills and let's see if we can get a mission that I want. And if not, then I'll just do this over and over again. And then when we start the next episode, 
will um, get a mission that I want. Okay, all right, let's take a look here. Temporary command with the junction system. Nope. Let's try another one. Now, so as you can see, we've got a lot of good missions here, but unfortunately none the one that I want. So, okay, well I'll just go back and I'll uh, and I'll go, I'll uh, keep launching stuff till I get the mission that I want. But yeah, I know some of you guys have been excited about this Let's Play, and I'm excited to bring it to you. So we'll get started uh, with actual missions in the next episode. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.